Thank you. We're now recording. We're going over budget and we're writing a test case. We want our test case to be broad so we can write one test and it'll guide us to write the right code. So in the this is the one we want. Let's just copy all of this. These are our requirements. And let's do those. So what are the classes that I might want? Expense. Category. I'm a little iffy on this one. I want at a minimum to have all the, I'm storing data in a CSV. I know this. Mm -hmm. So I want each CSV file to have its corresponding class. And I want it to match up one to one. Oh. So then you need a class for every budget. budget. For monthly budget. I might not have a CSV file for every class, but for every CSV file, I want a class, a data structure, some object that can hold this data. So this, this test here that I want to write, uh, I need to know at least the monthly income, which has an amount and a month. And I need to be able to tell how much is spent in each category. So each expense is going to have one category. Categories would have many, many expenses. So this one might be a little tricky. If I have an expense that has an amount, maybe a name, name and amount, a month, and a category. I think with this information, we don't need name, but it's convenient. But with this information, we can meet this requirement. And then also this one, and maybe this one, definitely this one. Okay, so this is gonna be my layout. And I'm gonna have a budget class to, to do all the processing. So what do I need here? I need a test method. <laughs> test. What should I call this requirement here? Display monthly breakdown. And I need to put a requirement or a description. So I'm just going to and what's the syntax? Do I just start start? Writing code? No. No? Uh, oh, okay. So so at the bottom I'll have self dot assert something. We don't know yet. But here we get to be creative. We get to decide what 
classes, what methods, what classes we'll have, everything, all the syntax. I'm gonna have okay, and I do want at the bottom here. Assert equal budget dot display monthly breakdown. And what parameters will this need? A category. A category? I thought this would display all the categories. So they probably need to take in whatever expense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the percentage they would need their monthly income, and they would need the total cost from each category. Um, and I'm gonna say, let's let's decide when we write that. So budget. Uh, first, I'm gonna have. an income and an expense. And the income is gonna be, it's gonna need uh, an amount in a month, right? So let's give it, what's my monthly income? Five thousand. And my month is September twenty nineteen. Sure. There might be easier ways of writing it than writing it out, but let's try this. That's all we need for an income. So what do we need for expense? Category. Okay. So let's say food. I spent, uh, we went to a nice restaurant. Huh? And I'm going to make it the same month to be convenient. And uh, what's the last one? Oh, the name. So I didn't do it in order here. But food? Oh, okay, sure. Let's keep it in that order. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, Taco Bell's is actually quite good. I would say you'd be hard for us to spend that kind of money. We all need to hire a month for 4418. That's the entire month. You can do that. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. That was 16 times in the Taco Bell. I was 16 times in the Taco Bell. I was 16 times in the Taco Bell. That's mediocre. So my budget's gonna, I have to keep track of this expense somehow. Okay. So I'm gonna add this expense. Uh, I'm also gonna, I need another function, uh, another method to decide, to set the income. And now with that, we should be able to A start equal this month. So we need a month. We need to know which month to break down. But other than that, I'm not sure we need anything. And what do we want it to return? Do we want it to return a string or? 
string. A string. Mm -hmm. We could we could do it here, or we could do that in the runner. Since it's kind of a complicated uh, object, it'll be what kind of what kind of data structure will we store this in? We need diff all these different categories, and each one has a different percent. Okay, dictionary. So it should say food colon and then a percent. How do we want to store this? What would be easiest to attain? A number? Well, if you're storing the, if you're giving the extent, your number is going to be strange. If you're actually going to do calculations to calculate a percent, you want to do a number. You don't have to convert it back into a string after you convert it from a string to a number. I don't know if it's a string okay we can always change the test to 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 make sure just to see what comes out first and if that satisfies us we can change it uh, we will want this to be some kind of fraction uh, five where is my calculator okay. so five thousand It comes out zero 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 six nine six four. <laughs> so that's 0.7%, percent in this this one. So I'm gonna say that for now. Okay, now we have this this monstrous test written. But in it, we've we've kind of made a lot of design choices of how we want our syntax to look and how we want these that we haven't even created the files for yet. So first, we're going to want to import them, right? And I'm going to and expect. So when I run my test, let's see what comes up. Well, I ran, that's good. Income takes no arguments. How do I fix this? Right, Lane? Can you say that again? Excuse me, can you say that again? How do I fix this error from my test? Type error, income takes no argument. Um, line 22, line 22 here. So it's blowing up on this line. I think I have to pass to do something in here to make this line work. Um, do you have to import, let me see, well, from classes dot, can you go back to line 22? To the test? Mm -hmm. So we want when we invoke this class, we're, trying, we're creating an instance of income. And we're going to initialize this income class to make an instance. 
and it's going to have these parameters passed in. But because we passed in these parameters, and in here, it takes no parameters, we have a problem, no arguments. You have to pass the argument through self? Yeah. Remember this? Mm -hmm. The init decides how it's initialized. So we initialize one instance of this class. We can make many, many instances, but we just made one for now with these arguments. Oh, wrong one. So we need to add past self the two arguments, which are John? No. But we are the uh, I'm sorry. The month yeah, the monthly income now. Okay. And the uh, the month. The month. So when we invoke it, we will have this amount and this month pass in right here in these white arguments. Well, these are parameters now. <laughs> oh, I need to make it a method. Thanks for telling me so the computer didn't have to. And I'm gonna just make some instance variables. Okay. So now uh, when, we have, when I run my test again, it shouldn't have this error anymore, hopefully. Okay, we have the same error with expense. Copy and paste that, I like it. But it's not going to take in amount. It's going to take in. Yeah. It's going to take in name. Yeah. Amount. Month category. Uh, open. Mm. Okay. I don't think the order of this matters, so we're good. So now we have no set income method for budget. Okay. And it'll take in an income. And I'm just going to say budget has a lot of incomes from different months. And you make those step the uh, set income methods used to a, a dictionary of months? Can I, can I feed it into a dictionary of months? Yeah, can you make it output oh. appended in the dictionary and have all the months in it? Yeah, you, you could. You could, instead of having an income uh, object, you could have a dictionary. You could make a dictionary and record, read a CSV into the dictionary. Yeah. But you could do that. Mm -hmm. Right now, we've already made an income class, though. Yeah. 
there's no right way to do this. There, there's, there's a bunch of ways we can do it. Okay, so we have definite self and we'll make a instance variable. And I'm gonna append. That's if it's not already there though, right? The, the income, that assumes that it's a new income. If we're modifying an old income, then we need to do something different. Oh. A pen would just add it to the list. Let's say I have... Hmm? Mm -hmm. If it's already there. If that month is already there. But let's just go back to that later. Let's assume for simplicity's sake that we don't have to update it. We'll just create it. <laughs> okay? So we can get to the other parts of it. Let's see, are we good here? Budget object has no attribute income. Online. Oh, did I? Append is not defined. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? So budget has no attribute at. Okay, but it has not, now it does. Add takes one. Okay. So you were using as instead of from oh here expense so I need an expense and just gonna do the same thing Oop, I typed over here again. <laughs> Okay. But this is what I like TDD for is, is this is pretty mindless. <laughs> I'm just letting the computer tell me what to do. So Now it has an attribute, display monthly breakdown. And again, we have something we're missing. We're missing a month. Well, assertion error. None doesn't equal, okay, so now we're at the meat of the problem. So food, we need to return some object. Call it output. Okay. And from self.incomes and self.expenses, I should be able to find return as output. So I feel like this is gonna take some some calculation and I'm gonna print out what we have so far. I think I've said so like at least 50 times this morning, sorry.
So I'm gonna <laughs> loop through my incomes. What am I going to say here? I'm looking for a specific income. Or maybe you're looking for your total income. Or total income. You're, you're calculating what percentage over the month. You have to say well, how much total money do you have for that month? That's part of the calculation for the percent or for the breakdown. The total amount for this month. Actually, actually no, for displaying a monthly breakdown, maybe you want to print each income and let's say your total income is. Okay, so let's print each income and see what happens. We printed out the amount of our one income. In the test, if I had made multiple incomes, Only print the last one. So I need to what? Oh, okay. it, um, it's, it's right? Yeah, you can call one and read it. So looking back to your other thing before you mm -hmm. you're to the uh, the other window or the oh. test. You're creating your on, on line 23, you're just overwriting the value of income, and then you only <laughs> Okay, and then, and then now it's there. So What am I trying to do in this uh, in this loop here? I'm trying to also can you figure your total income for the month? Yes, so I'm gonna grab the income for this month for September. I'm looping through all of the incomes. If income the month. Is the same as the month, then this is the income we want. And you will probably want to reference the, the income outside of the loop. Yeah, income total outside the loop. Outside the loop. And I'm gonna set it once I find it. So I'm not resetting it each time. Maybe plus equals because if you have multiple sources of income, they'll hurt you. <laughs> okay. Now, hopefully, if we return. Total income, we'll see 5,000. Operand, oh no. <coughs> Unsupported operand plus equal for int and string. Yeah, you have to convert income by not to a flow. Okay. Now we have, yay, 5,000 does not equal food. Point seven. Now we need to divide the. Now you need to iterate through your expenses. Iterate through my expenses. Find the total cost of all items in that category. So very similar. <laughs> uh huh. 
So I want the key to be food. So what does extend look like again? Go back to our test. So okay. what does expense look like? Okay, yep. So then if so then you have to iterate through to find the month and then from the month plus the category. From that item, plus the category. Iterate until we find the month, and then from that month, pull out the category. Yep. Yeah. It wouldn't be with everyone else. We want to find every category, right? Find that's every just, category. So we want. Food, but if food is the only category. Then... Now we iterated through and we found the month, so we're going to pull out the category. What am I going to do with the category? Set it, set it, set it up or store it as a string. So category equals, <laughs> actually, for each. I want to do it like this. I already have my output. The output, yeah, the output, colon. Yep. Is this right? I would say you probably would have to put in a check to see if that header is already in. I'm just going to plus equal. That works. Oh, that works. OK. But you have to see if that category already exists. If it already exists. You can't plus, you can't plus equal to it. Uh, <laughs> else. Uh, Elif. You know, right, right there, you're taking it to expense that month is a month. Uh -huh. So you need another if inside. So if and then if. All right, I'm going to just see what we have so far. Key error, food. So you're trying to add the food to the food, cat food category of, of uh, output. If there is no food category. Uh oh, okay. So let's That's check for that first. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. How about only checking for it if it's in the right one? I mean, if it's not, if so, between lines 21 and 22, put another if space. Between lines 21 and 22. Okay. So if expense.category in. Output.keys. I suspect this will work too. Oops. Yep. Else. Else. Output graphics and category equals. I'll say equals. And you need a colon of after line on line 22. Check your out. I need a colon. Okay, let's see what that does. Oh. We're getting there. We're getting close. Really close. So we put the amount in there, but we don't want the amount. We want the percent of out of the income. So now we need to iterate over the output and insert that. Okay. For category and output. Index value in. Do I need the index? No, I don't think we do. Oops. We can just do four value and output. Okay. Well, or key. This would be key. Yeah, that would be the key. Because when you have more than one category, you need the reference. Right? Or key. 
I think I might have to reference the key. You will. Okay, so what do I type here then? Uh, then you have to have to do the calculation. So uh, that's a calculate bracket p equals something, and then mm -hmm. do you want to put do the calculation in one line, or do you want to copy the first one to the end? Um, let's do it in one line. Okay, so output bracket, bracket p equals so we're calculating a percentage for one hundred. 100 times times float float output bracket output bracket keep varies because we're oh. adding up a bunch of different float float output bracket keys maybe we should have done it in one one line <laughs> output bracket key yep and then, uh -huh. outside the parentheses, divide by, divide, divide by. Oh, can, can I should just say value here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Value divided by that income, the total income. Yeah, total income. Okay, so it's two decimal points. That's where that, that, that'll be a round. Let's see. If you do that, that will be Uh-oh. I, I tried to divide. This must be a string. Again? Is value a string? Yeah, value is a string. So if you have to do float parentheses value. I'm getting then dizzy. Close the parentheses, and then total income is not a value. So parentheses. Yep. And then total income is not a value. Total income is a number. Yeah. So. Oh, you should do. It's, so line twenty-five here is the don't keep the whole value. So one hundred times float value. Close parentheses, value close parentheses. Um, yep. oh. There we go. I, I lost track of the parentheses. So there's this one. This one is extra, isn't it? Yeah. And that will A hundred times the value, value divided by the total income. And that's already a number. Yep. Not construct. <laughs> I, I tried to convert, convert food into a float. Value is food. <laughs> Maybe we should rename value. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna. This is this enumerate isn't working the way I thought it did. Maybe this is the index. No? Well, if that's food, then I want this to be. This is really bad. <laughs> but I'm just going to put, since I know that's food, I want food to be that. And this would be then the actual value. We're not actually using key anymore. Okay, so now we have a round. This is really hacky, but I'm sure <laughs> we'll make it pretty later. Let's get to the CSV part. So we're rounding. We need to round this. Someone mentioned the round method. How do I use that? So I run around. I want to round this to one, one decimal point. Yay! So we made this. 
exception. Now, now let's take a break and come back for CSV and we'll read and write from the CSV. Uh, right now it's 10.20, we'll come back at 10.35. Thank you.